so we've given up on that armor chest plate. 500 KC drive for it. We're good. Uh, we're just going to work on the Infernal Cape today. We need to get some Zenites. We need to do some Herblore training. We just need to get prepared for the Inferno. Go in, get the cape. Should be a piece of cake. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button and let's get into it. I'm going to make my way to Demonics. That is 80 Hunter, which means I can start a Herbivore whenever I want. So a couple days ago, Oblivion PVM hosted a Leagues Mass for the Veteran Pest Control World because best in slot is actually Void Melee and Void Range. It's better than like Bandos and Armadol and stuff for pure DPS just because we don't get Barrow's Gloves and Face Guard and stuff like that. So while this thing would usually take me loads of time to get, because of them we basically did like one minute, two minute pest control trips, and it didn't take that long to get all the points for this, and I managed to get myself full void. Now this is actually a long term task as well, because it does give me 100 points, and because it takes so long to get, I'm thinking a lot of other people may not get it, so by the end of this league, those 100 points could be the difference. I did a couple more theater of blood runs after getting lucky for that 2kc rapier the other day, Fortunately, no uniques, but the supplies for this for Herblore and crafting and pretty much just every skill actually does help out quite a bit, so TOB is something we're going to need to do a lot of. Okay, and this should be me hitting 80 prayer. I'm just working on base 80s right now, and I just wanted to bang prayer out the way as I had already had the bones in my bank from blue dragons and wyverns, so that's pretty nice. We just have rune crafting, construction, and fire making to work on, and we have everything banked for that. Okay, and that is 80 fire making. The last two stats for base 80s are construction and rune crafting. That was 85 herbal. We're currently working on 90 herbal as well because we need to make super combats for when we go to the inferno. Okay, and that is filling a large pouch for 50 points. I had a large pouch the whole time, so I just didn't even know it was a task, I guess. And that is 80 rune crafting, just construction to go now. All right, and this is going to be 80 construction, which gives us base level 80s, which is another 250 points. We are 2,068 total level. When we get to 2,100, that's another 250 points. And when we get to base level 90s, that's another 250 points. And that is 87 crafting. We're slowly chipping away at this. Now we even have amethyst because of our mining level. Amethyst is going to be really good for our 99 fletching. Monkey tail, what's that? What is it for? What is it for? Oh, it's for the ballista? Okay, nice, nice, nice. Zenite shard, Zenite shard, let's go. I'm like 30kc for Zenite shard. That's my suffering right there. Obtain 25 million range XP. I forgot I had. I was sitting on this after my Kriara grind. That's another 250 points too. Nice. Oh, and I just got dragon fruit tree seeds, which I'm pretty sure once I get 91 farming, that's a task too, right? Okay, so I'm currently working on the Elite, Medium, and Mauritania task so I can get Mauritania legs and go to Barrows. I do want to tank Helm for the Inferno, so that is the long-term goal now that we've got our Zenite. Okay, and that's the Mauritania easy diary done. We're going to do the Medium and the Hard now. And that's 81 Hunter. And that is Ghost Ahoy completed, which allows me to use the Ectophile, which is another uh, task for the diary that I'm currently doing. Medium task done, yep. So all the achievement diaries do give us points as well, so eventually I do have to complete every one I can, but completing the hard Mauritania diary there just gave us 100 points. Okay, I just got the medium diary done, which means I can go get Mauritania legs 3, which means I can go do Barrows to get my tank helm for Inferno. Oh, Tyrox helm for his chest, bro. Oh, I've already done one, actually. I've already done one. I must have done one for the task. I've already... Oh, oh shit, equip any piece of a Barrows armor set, 50 points, let's go. And I just hit 25 mil attack XP, which is 250 points, putting me up to 32.6k. There we go, Torax Helm, KC10, we can make our way to the Inferno. Okay, and that is 87 Herbler. We're currently trying to get 90 Herbler so that we can make these super combats. I think we only actually need 89 so we could pop boost it, but we need super combats for the Inferno. Shout out to the guy who let me know about noting the herbs at the leprechauns, by the way. Anyway, this is about to be 86 farming right here. We're still just working on this 90 herb. And that is 89 herb lore. We can now boost to make these super combats. So we found ourselves a very nice pint of Greenman's Ale, which actually boosts our herb lore to 90. And we make a super combat potion. We only actually had four of these, but these are all for our inferno runs. And this is another 250 point task right here. Final preparations for the inferno. We just got 83 smithing while we're making our bolts. Oh my god, I finessed the system. I figured out a way to sell for 31 every time while spamming. With menu entry swapper and resizable mode, I can actually shift click sell 50. I can just click on him right there and it restocks uh, the price. So every time I sell for basically 31 taco, so all my chaos runes are worth a whole lot more than 9 taco. Let's go buy our onyxes. Okay, this is the onyx for our fury 260k. Let's just hop worlds real quick. And this is the onyx for our suffering. We got 3k left. Okay, I've never made one of these before, but I think this is a Zenite made if I'm not mistaken. 
correct? There we go, uncut zenite, nice. It is time to make our suffering as well as our fury. Let's eat half a mushroom pie, put in my crafting up to 91, making that into a zenite. Now let's be careful here. I don't want to make the wrong mistake. Oh, I don't have a gold bar. Yep, there it is. Okay, we're back with gold bars. Let's be very careful here. I do not want to make a mistake. I'm going to make one zenite ring. We'll put that to one, even though I only have one zenite. That's the only thing that's possible. We're going to enchant. Oh, I need to hit this heart real quick. Hit the heart. Oh, I need soul runes. Okay, this is this is a little bit slow start to me getting these rings. I, haven't, I didn't come fully prepared. My invent's a little messy. It is what it is. That should be our suffering, if I'm not mistaken. That's 250 points right there for equipping a Zenite Jewelry, putting me back over 33k. We're catching up a little bit. We're catching up a little bit. I cannot lie. Now we need to make an Amulet of Fury. So let's not make a Ring of Stone. That's the objective right now. Uh... Amulet of Fury. Onyx Amulet. That looks correct. Um, put that there. That looks good. That looks good. We're all good and dandy there. That's another 250 points. And that is our Amulet of Fury. And we actually do have a Blood Shark blood Shard in the bank, which we can use for another 250 points to make it into an Amulet of Blood Fury. I just don't want to do that yet. I want to practice like an Inferno run first before I put it on, but we will later. We are now at 33.37k points. And into the Inferno we go. Now I have only ever gotten one Infernal Cape before on the main game with a Twisted Bow and an Ellie, all that good stuff. And that was at the start of the year. I've not got a single cape since. Now I'm going to be attempting a melee Infernal Cape, which means I have to go through all the waves with melee. This is just because of my relics and everything. It just makes the most sense, even though it's more difficult, it's easier, if that makes any sense. Here's the setup we're going with. I have 403 range defense in this. The Albi Shield coming in clutch. It's plus 65 range def. I do have the Defender Switch also when I'm doing DPS. Now, because of my spec relics, I'm thinking this should be fairly easy. If I take any HP, I just use my SGS spec five times. If I lose any prayer points, I just use my SGS spec five times. So the hope is for this first run, just to make it to Zucks. Get through the waves, get some practice going and see how we do. Then we can put the Blood Fury on and actually go for the cape. Let's go. So when asking my friends for help on the Inferno for people who have already done it, they basically just said forget everything you know about the waves and cheese your way through it. So usually with a blob, you would make sure you flick between the mage and the range prayer, hitting every single prayer to negate the damage. However, here you can see I literally just can't pray mage and because my range defense is so high, the chances of him hitting on me are actually very slim and if he does hit on me, I can just use my SGS spec to heal me back up and it takes pretty much all the effort out of those waves. Wave 31, one ranger, two blobs, and a melee. As you can see, we pretty much face tanked everything Prey and Mage, even though nothing is maging us. We're getting hit by rangers, melees, blob range attacks, and it works. It literally works. All I do is SGS my health back. Wave 41, a major and two blobs. I'm starting on 72 HP. Supposedly, this is a hard wave to learn. You have to flick between the major and the blobs usually. However, I use my trusty tactic and my 403 range defense with this Albi Shield, Prey Mage, and I just whip everything down. Another supposedly extremely hard wave, wave 48, there's a melee or two blobs and the major and because I have to start in the center to kill the nibblers with my whip because I don't have chins or barrage or anything, I'm getting hit by literally everything but I just, I just don't take any damage, I can run north of the pillar and start sorting out what I want to do. Now from wave 50 onwards, it's time for the ranger to start getting in the mix with the major as well. But 403 range defense doesn't really make this an issue. I'm gonna just hit him with the SGS if I have to. From wave 60 to 63, you have literally every NPC in the inferno. You have the major, the ranger, the blobs, the melees, the bats. You have everything. And by this point, I still haven't used brudoses, but on wave 62, things did get a little bit hairy, but that's what the brudoses are there for. And I actually only used two of them. 
Now we have made it to wave 63, the hardest wave before the Jads, the Triple Jads, and Zuck himself. And that is wave 63 completed. We had 64 and 65 and 66 to go, but those are all fairly simple. Now that I've figured out that the waves are easy, I'm fairly confident I can get this cape. Let's try and make it to Zuck. Okay, it's time to start the first Jad. Let's go. Okay, well this literally just got rinsed. I was not expecting it to go that easy, but uh, he's out the game. Good fight, we're on triples. Okay, time to start triples. Okay, and that's the first one down. Let's move on. Any chance of dying? Thanks. That second jad just took so long to go down that I misclicked there and I missed that prayer. I even hovered my brew, but I don't know why I just didn't click it. I guess it was a little bit of brain lag. And unfortunately, we did not make it to Zuck on our first attempt. We did make it to triples, and I was very disappointed with that. Time to do a farm run and get right back into it. Three mahogany trees. This is going to be the fattest XP drops of my life. Check. 250k, and that's also a hard task complete. Another 250k, we take those up to 88. Another 250k, we take those. That's very, very nice. That's 750k farming XP just like that. And we have a bunch of mahogany seedlings. Okay, successfully created a blood amulet of blood fury. That's 250 points right there. And so we jumped right back in for another attempt, and I was confident this time I could get the cape. Okay, nice. We've cleared the waves again. Okay, into jab we go. Okay, well, we did take a Jad hit there, but we did tick eat it, so regardless, we would have lived. It's a super combat gone, however, and we're back to triples. Okay, and we should be at Zuck. We are, in fact, at Zuck. Holy fuck, okay. I'm, I'm very happy that I didn't prank at triples again. Feel a little bit cheated by last time. We're back at Zuck. Let's go. There's some under 600, nice. That's perfect. That's perfect.
Healers cleared with two brews left, which is more than enough for another set. The Amethyst Arrows really go in, and in full bandos, we don't even take that much damage by the Ranger. All we have to do is tag the Major, kill the Ranger, Bolt Zuck, and we've got ourselves a cape. However, when the Major spawns, I don't know what happened. I guess my brain fell out of my head, and I didn't click the right one. I then tagged the Ranger and forgot that I had tagged the Ranger, so I didn't even bother killing it because I was panicked about my shield. I went back and took Zuck hits here or there. The Ranger kept killing me, and what was a very clean run, what I thought would have been my cape on the second attempt, which was, you know, it was going really great, turned out to be a complete shit show, and, you know, it was a good fight. However, we don't give up, we made it back to Zuck for our second attempt at the big guy. Alright, MSP, I believe in you. Just clean him up. Clean him up. Nice. Nice, Ruby. Stay with the shield. Just stay with the shield. I think I have a lot of time before this set, not gonna lie. Fuck! Second try at Zuck, cleared healers, 254 HP to go, bunch of time to the set. We have six brews in our inventory, and we step out and get KO'd. I needed more herbs for super combat, so I went to Abbey Spectres really quickly, and I picked myself up 25 mil death XP, which gives us another 250 points. Now let's get back to Zuck. I must be him down. Nice. Nice ruby bolt there. Is that dead? Nice. Let's nice. let's chat down. and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. 13 HP left. Don't fucking choke it now, Ditter. Don't choke it now, Ditter. Baltum? Zero. Bolt it. I think that might be the cape. 18. Yep, yeah, that's the cape. 92.48. Not exactly the best time. But that is the Infernal Cape achieved. It took us, I think, four or five attempts, but we pretty much made it to Zuck every single time. So I'm very, very happy with that. We will be going back for the speed run, which is under 75 minutes. But that, my friends, is the Infernal Cape.
Okay, so we didn't really need to waste those three days at Arma as the Black Dehead body did suffice to get this Infernal Cape. Obviously, we still need to go back at some point and get that chest plate because that is 500 points just waiting for us there. We are still fairly behind because of the time we wasted, but now that we have our Infernal Cape, we can start focusing up and just focus the points more and try to climb back onto that top page ranking. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and comment down below what you thought. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.